Hi guys, Miss Angie here along with Miss Doris. Good afternoon. We are here again to have a special activity this week, the activity of the week. And today we're going to be doing some cooking. But first we are going to read an article Miss Doris is going to read about the Hero Dog Awards. And then we're going to tell you what we're going to be making today. So Miss Doris, take it away and read us the story. Okay, this is from our news to you and it's the week of September 21st, 2020. And it's called the Hero Dog Awards. The Hero Dog Awards is a contest. This contest honors brave dogs. The dogs are from across the United States. People voted for their favorite dogs. They voted online. Oops, sorry guys, I don't have it separated today. <laughs> And I don't want to lick my fingers because of the hygiene. That's right. Many dogs started in the contest. Now only seven dogs are left. One dog will be the winner. The winner will be the 2020 American Hero Dog. The winner will be announced at an awards show. Mm -hmm. The awards show will be on TV on October 19th something to watch. Similar to when we did the um, I Heard a Radio show. That's right. It was all online. It's the new way right now. Mm -hmm. Get to and see everything still, which is good. Right, and that's the end of the story. Yay, thank you, Miss Doris. So, we are going to make a treat today, and because we're honoring hero dogs, we're going to make puppy chow for people. So, this is going to be a great snack. You guys are going to love it. First, we're gonna go over the ingredients and what we need to do, the directions, and then we're gonna show you the finished product and we're gonna eat some puppy chow. How, how awesome is that, right? Your dogs are gonna be jealous. So first thing we need to do is wash our hands. So Miss Doris has some hand sanitizer there. And I did wash my hands, but I did touch the paper, so I'm gonna yes. do this and I'll give Miss Angie Thank some too. Thank you, Miss Doris. You gotta rub it in really good. Rub it in, rub it in. And make sure you have a clean cooking surface too. That's Your right. Counters and yeah, you have to wipe everything these days. down. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. All right, guys, here we go. Super easy ingredients. We're gonna need some rice cereal. We got the generic. It's all good. You won't be able <laughs> to tell. Tastes the same. That's right. <laughs> some chocolate chips. One bag of chocolate chips. You can use. The um, semi-sweet or the dark chocolate? This Angie ate half of them already, sorry guys. <laughs> it's true, but don't worry, we have enough. <laughs> Powdered sugar. And peanut butter. That's all you need, how easy is that? So, Miss Doris is going to start the little cooking lesson and I'm gonna read her the instructions. So it's great if you guys have a cooking buddy to help you out in the kitchen. It's a great two-person, three-person project. And then you get to all enjoy afterwards, right? And you also learn a little math with the measurements. This is right, and we're gonna do some counting. Very nice. Yes. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is in a saucepan, and this is a good part where your um, cooking buddy can help you turn on the stove. So you need it low to medium heat. Make sure you have a spoon to stir. We're going to add, you wanna look at your, your instructions, one cup of the chocolate chip. So one cup of the chocolate chips, Miss Doris, goes okay. in to the heated pot. One cup. Now you can always double it. It depends on how many you want to make. That's right. Oops. That's an even cup. Pour it in. And then we need half a cup of peanut butter. We laid out all of our utensils ahead of time just to help with the presentation and it also helps with other things. Yeah, it makes the cooking process a lot easier when you put everything out and then you get to tackle it. What was the amount? I'm sorry. Half a cup. Half a cup. Okay. <clears throat> Chocolate and peanut butter is the best together, right? Mm -hmm. And also when they um when you do like cups, they always say one level cup. That, and that helps, you know, that's what I'm doing. I kind of had one level cup. See? And I'm gonna yep. put that in there put now. It in there. And then all you're gonna do is take your big spoon 
and stir it together until it melts completely and is nice and smooth. Try not to lick your fingers if you're going to be <laughs> serving this to other people. This is true. Especially with today's world, huh? Okay, so. So Miss Doris is going to take our large spoon. She's going to stir it. We're going to melt everything together until it's nice and smooth. And then we're going to come back and show you guys the second part. So go ahead and get started and we'll meet you back here. Back. How did you do? So we have our stuff all melted. Miss Doris is going to show you how nice and see. creamy and melted see? it is. And that's how it should look. All smooth, nice and creamy. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add nine cups of the rice cereal. Now this is a good counting and math lesson right here. So we're on all count to nine, so nine cups. Do you want me to hold that for you, Miss Dora? Sure. And I'll help. First cup, one. And while you're doing it, I would mix a little bit maybe. It might help. Yep. And it's okay if it cracks a little bit. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm stirring as I'm pouring. Six. Seven. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> Eight. Nine. This would be a good snack when you're watching a movie. Or you know, have popcorn. Get more the store, it's even better. The Browns just started playing, you guys. Yeah, yeah. And if you know anything about football and the Cleveland Browns, and part of the stadium is called the Dog Town. So how cool would that be oh, on yeah. a Sunday, right? Making some puppy chow. Yeah. Watching the Browns game. You can pretend like you're in the Dog Town and bark like a dog, Woo right? <laughs> so this is looking awesome, you guys. Do you know, Miss Angie, my son taught our dog to howl when the Browns are playing. Oh. It's so cute. How cool is that? <laughs> so I think it's, yeah. it's pretty good. So now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take one and one half cups of the powdered sugar and you're going to pour it into a Ziploc bag. Yes. So I have a, a one cup, we're gonna use the one cup and then I also have a smaller cup for the half. This is why it's good to have a helper. Gotta have a cooking buddy when you cook. <laughs> and an apron, maybe. <laughs> okay. I opened up, up my bag already. Let's see if I could do this without spilling. I did it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then I, I did this a half, too. You could have used the same thing, but this is easier. All right, then. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All set. All right, now I'm gonna hold the bag for Miss Doris and she's gonna scoop some of our puppy chow right into the bag. And I turned off the heat after I mixed it all in. You could do it by cupfuls if you want. Like, since there's nine scoops in here, you could do four and a half, which might be easier, which is what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my scooper and do it that way. I might get more in there. What do you think, Missy? I think that's one, good. Maybe one yeah. more. Okay. And then you're going to close your Ziploc bag, and all you're going to do is shake it up so the powdered sugar is all over your chocolate and peanut butter covered rice mix. So you just shake it up real good. And then you need to have a bowl. So if you hold that for me, Miss Doris, you need to have a serving bowl. Now this is a really fun trick. You can get these at the dollar store. I happen to have one. It's an actual, look at that, a dog bowl. So you can put your puppy chow and serve it in your dog bowl for your family or friends. How fun is that? Especially if you're watching the Browns. That's a cool tip, you guys. They're gonna be really impressed. All about the dogs this week coming up. All right. 
pour our puppy chow in there. Looks like we got an archery for the weekend. Too bad they're not playing Sunday. They played yesterday and they won. Perfect. I don't want to overflow it. What do you think? That's good. And if you had extra chocolate, you could always drizzle a little more over it. Look at that, you guys. Mmm. Guess what we're having for lunch? <laughs> All right, Miss Doris, let's taste it. Okay. Mm, it's good even warm. Mm. Excellent. I'm taking another bite. Really mm. good. We hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. We'd love to see your pictures making puppy chow. Have a good week, you guys. We'll see you next Bye, week. Bye, guys. See you see Monday. Ya.